Want to pass the CCNA exam on your first try? Here's what worked for me. Hello, my name is Gio Arcilla and I am a Cisco Certified Network Associate. I heavily encourage you to watch the entire video from start to finish as this will be comprehensive and will include tons of information. But if you're kind of like me and just want to get through it very quickly, I've pretty much created a timestamp for you to be able to follow and skip through. CCNA is a Cisco Certified Network Associate certification, which pretty much validates an individual's knowledge to network protocols, security fundamentals, programmability, automation, and an individual's ability to configure devices. So the Cisco certification is a globally recognized and respected certification. It is the core foundation for an individual looking to jumpstart or reinforce their tech skills. In this video, we're pretty much going to be talking about study materials, study strategies, exam day and test taking tips, as well as any mistakes to avoid. And finally, we're going to close down the video with some advices that I have wish someone told me prior or during test taking time. So starting off with study materials, my first and foremost resource that I used heavily during my time of study is boson exam. So the boson practice exam simulates a real world exam. So my favorite part about the boson platform is that it allows you to choose different modes of study. First one being study mode, which allows you to take a simulated exam that's not timed. Any correct answers, whether it be correct or incorrect, Boson will give you a breakdown of why the answer is correct, why the answer is incorrect. And also within Boson, there is a fully simulated test. So with this, it'll give you a, a full about 105 questions exam that is timed, uh, about 90 minutes, I believe. Um, and it'll pretty much, you know, cut you off if you hit that time limit. And so if you haven't done so already, uh, go ahead and go through Boson and kind of check it out for yourself. This was something I utilized heavily throughout my studies. Another tool I used in order to study for the CCNA exam was utilizing Packet Tracer. Packet Tracer is a digital platform that allows users to create, deploy, configure uh, machines and environments. It pretty much allows the user to connect devices, uh, configure devices, uh, look at different images uh, of devices. It gives a fully simulated network. Moving ahead, I definitely watched a lot of YouTube videos. One channel that I really looked into and really took my time with is Jeremy's IT Lab. My favorite aspect about Jeremy's IT Lab is that he completely breaks down the entire curriculum for the CCNA from start to finish and gives you labs. He does have a course available for purchase in order to get all the files for, for a packet tracer and digital flashcards that again, allow you to study. Another YouTube channel I did watch for a very long time is Network Chuck. My favorite part about Network Chuck is that he covers everything network, from AI to automation to programmability, things outside of the CCNA he covers. Uh, so moving on to study techniques. One thing that helped me the most during my studies is repetition. I reached a point where pretty much every day I would lab, whether it be a quick 10, 15, 20 minute lab session where I just look at configurations, ask myself questions, why is this configuration practical for this environment? Every day was pretty much a labbing session. One thing that also helped me during my studies is breaking down each segment on its own. For example, if you're studying over a 12 week period, first week breaking it down into security, second week breaking it down to network fundamentals, third week you're gonna do IP connectivity. You're gonna wanna create rhythm that flows and is natural to your own study habits. Moving on to exam day and test taking tips. With the CCNA exam, the format is about 100 to 120 minutes is what you're given. It's about 50 to 80 questions. Each test taker's exam is completely different from others. The structure is the same in terms of how much time you get and how many questions 
you typically get, but it's never the same question asked twice in like a span of two to three months. What I've been hearing from different forums, different platforms, and different social media is that each test is unique on its own. Yes, the topics and ideas are typically are the same, but each question is formed in a different environment. So moving on to mistakes to avoid in order to get your certification. One thing that I see a lot of people do is not stop study and just do labs. This is completely possible. You can get your certification just by going through experience and having that lab knowledge. However, the percentage of that happening, you getting certified, you're completely new to IT, to tech, to networking, and you're just labbing all day. The chances of you getting certified is quite slim. It's not impossible, but I would highly discourage you just labbing all day and not actually learning like the fundamentals and, and, and ideas. Again, possible, but I wouldn't encourage it. Really take time to go through Boson, take time and learn um, the topics and ideas. I'm not saying labbing is bad, but if that's the only thing you're doing, the chances of you getting certified is a little bit lower. Another mistake that I would highly avoid is not reviewing the topics that are your weak point. For example, personally, subnetting was my weak point a lot of the conversions from binary to decimal was something that I kind of struggled with even though you find an area or a topic or an idea that is a bit difficult to understand just take your time with it if it takes you a week or two weeks to really knock it down and understand the material take your time there's there's really no reason to rush another habit that I would avoid generally speaking is cramming you don't want to walk into a test center with only let's say a week or two weeks worth of studying. It's possible that you get certified after a week or two weeks of studying if you have the background, if you have the experience, but if you're someone who's completely new to networking or to to tech, the chances of you getting certified is extremely low. Cramming is one thing I again discourage. If it's a time thing and you're really needing, it's your last last chance and, and there's nothing else that you could have done and you just need to study very last minute, I would encourage even, you know, finding 10, 15 minutes a day to just look at an environment, look at the configurations and then ask yourself questions and then answer them. Find areas you can improve on, but cram it is a very you're walking on eggshells at that point if this video helped you in any way shape or form drop a like leave a comment um, if you have any questions please drop them down I, I try my best to respond in a way that, that that's that's intentional I'm gonna go ahead and link down my socials I have my notion website that's active and updated preti much weekly if not bi-weekly feel free let's connect I, I love talking about tech and networking and just career path. If you have any questions or comments, just reach out. I'm always looking to connect. It's a certification. You can, you can, you can definitely, you know, get your hands on it and, and, and jumpstart and, and reach that goal you're, 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 you're looking to reach. The CCNA was extremely daunting to me just because of all the stories of, of people, um, taking it and retaking it, but it, it's something that you can achieve and, and it's not, not impossible. It, it's, it's, it's a lot of information. It's a lot to learn, but you know, take your time with it. Um, there's generally a time frame that people shoot for three to six months is what, um, the consensus is the best study strategy that I can give out to you is that, you know, yourself the best, you know, your habits, more than anyone else in this world. And, and if you're able to just hone in, take your time with it. it it's not gonna be a, a cakewalk. I, it's not gonna be, you know, something you can just look at for one day and then get certified the next. It, you know, it was a span of, of several years looking into it, not looking into it. Put the time to, to look at these environments and, and, you know, this is, you'll be certified in no time. So good luck, uh, y'all got this. Let me know how it goes.